All right, so today we're gonna talk about um, why three reasons why your drawings might suck. So these are all things that I struggled with at one point or another, and it's something that I see in a lot of amateur people's art. And this isn't referring to the painting process yet, this is just the drawing part. And these are some three things that can help you get better and make your drawings look more clean, more professional, okay? So the first one is uh, the fuzzy line, okay? This is a big problem and I used to do this all the time and, and there's a reason why we do it, but we gotta stop it. And the fuzzy line is when you're drawing and you're trying to draw like a curve or a line or something and you go like this right and we think that that kind of helps give it like this sketch sort of feel but it doesn't it actually just looks really terrible okay and there can be this uh, the reason that we might want to do this is one we might be thinking well this kind of makes it look that kind of rough loose sketch feel and that's kind of what I'm wanting to go for but it doesn't really it just makes it look really messy and amateurish and the other reason why is because it kind of helps us have a little bit more control over our line we don't have to make super confident strokes instead we can just make a bunch of really small ones that are a lot easier to control instead of trying to in big long strokes create whatever shape it is we want okay but we don't want to do this okay because it looks tacky it looks really unprofessional instead what you want to do when you're drawing your lines is create confident large overarching shapes and stuff like that that you can confidently draw okay and really try to avoid any sort of fuzzy line shapes because that's really what's going to kill your drawing and make it look really unprofessional okay it doesn't mean you can't be loose and that's the next thing we're going to actually talk about is that you should be loose but going for you know this fuzzy sort of thing all the way around your lines is really not a good idea okay so the second one uh, and which I want to point out in this drawing that I did over here you can see there's none of that anywhere right um, very confident lines and we'll go through the different layers and stuff but there's no fuzziness okay the next thing is to make sure that you're starting really loose. I see a lot of people who when they draw, they just go right in to trying to get this really detailed drawing and they'll start with one little section, maybe it's like the eye or the nose, I see a lot of people start with the eye, and they'll just start getting really detailed, they'll start adding all of this stuff, the reflections, right, and the eyelash, and they only have one, they don't even have the rest of the head or anything like that, right? They're just starting at this one spot and really going strong there but the problem is that they don't even have anything else, right? They Then they have to kind of work their way out from there and their proportions end up looking weird and all this stuff. What you want to do is start out really loose. You want to start out as loose as possible when you're trying to figure things out so that you can kind of come up with uh, your form, your ideas, right? Stuff like that so that by the time you are ready to start sketching, you have like this rough idea and then you can slowly start to refine it more and more and more and more instead of just starting out going strong uh, on the detail it's going to be really hard for you to rough out a good idea if that's how you start okay and you can see over here we'll turn off these layers on this guy I started out super super rough okay super loose um, just trying to get the idea down of where I want this thing to be positioned and then I refined it a little bit more, still keeping it pretty rough, pretty loose, until finally I did my final drawing layer where things are nice and crisp and clean. Now, like I said, if I were to just start out with this layer here, it would be pretty difficult for me to get this quality and have things be this accurate if I didn't start out with a rough compositional sketch to help me figure out where things were gonna go and how it was gonna be placed. So it's really important to do that um, if you want your art to look good. Now the other thing which sort of roughly ties into this is going to be uh, thinking three-dimensionally. And even though we're drawing two-dimensionally and we're only using lines, a big fatal flaw of a lot of people when they're drawing is that they're thinking in two dimensions and their drawings look really flat. So instead of drawing a dinosaur head like this, right, from the side view all the time, okay, what you want to be able to do is think about that dinosaur head in any sort of perspective Okay, and be able to draw it from another angle. Because if we're just looking at it like this, all this is is just this flat, two-dimensional looking drawing, right? It's not that great. But if we can turn that at an angle like we did over here and think about, okay, it's gonna have roughly a shape like this, right? Uh, heads over here, we got these kind of like horn things here, okay? 
and really start to figure out how to block this out in three dimensions, okay? And think about it three dimensionally, then we can not only draw it from any angle, but it actually starts to have some form instead of just being a flat, you know, 2D hieroglyphic style box art, which really isn't that exciting. We can start to do this, and you can see here if we go down all the way to my base layer, that's, uh, that's what I did on this T Rex. You can see over here, there's a box here that I was doing, right, to understand what direction he is facing. Um, I'm thinking about him in layers as he's going back, right? His head's in the very front, followed by, you know, like his torso and then his legs and then his tail, right? It's not just this flat thing. And it's not easy, right? It's much easier said than done, and it does take practice. But um, practicing is really going to help you be able to, to do this because if you can think about things three-dimensionally, your drawings are going to have so much more depth and interest to them. They're going to look so much more realistic instead of just drawing everything either from a basic side view or a basic front view. Um, having a little bit of sense of perspective is going to help with that as well. So anyways, <clears throat> that's it for this video, guys. I hope that helped you, uh, and hopefully you can practice some of these and get better at your drawings. Let me know in the comments what other type of videos you'd like to see. Um, I'm always trying to meet your guys' needs. So once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Are you looking for even more content on how to become a digital artist? Then check out some of my online courses. Courses are anywhere from 3 to 12 hours long, and they have tons of in-depth content. They cover a range of topics from creature design to light and color, and from character design to digital painting. You'll gain access to a private Facebook group for students only, where you can stay motivated and get feedback on your work. Plus, I provide fully responsive support throughout all of my courses, and I offer a 100% no questions asked, money back guarantee. Normally, my courses range from $1 to $200, but subscribers can take any of them for only $15. And once you buy it, you own it for life. There's no time limits, no subscriptions, anything like that. So if you want to show your support and become a better artist in the process, then use the link in the description or use the promo code YTDiscount on any of my courses. Have a good one.